Hey guys, it's Jimmy. Um, just checking in with you. I know I haven't posted some videos in a couple days now. And I've had a lot going on. I've been really busy. And I've been working on some behind the scenes things. Um, been putting up lighting. Um, you know, making it nice and bright in here for my workspace. Uh, I got my little scaffold set up. I got, you know, a nice cold blown fan got my uh my i got a three ton jack you know what i mean i had a, i had one before but uh wanted to make sure i had a nice one you know I, I got a bmw that's real low so i got the low profile one and um you know everything for work and all that went out and you know made sure i had everything i could need tool wise uh just like got some upgrades so I'm going to be posting some videos soon here of a uh, kind of like competition thing, you know, Milwaukee versus Makita. Uh, those are my two favorites. Uh, but I do, I've used all types of stuff. Uh, DeWalt, I have some DeWalt stuff. Um, and do like a little like kind of like competition sort of thing. I'm actually going to be using these building materials. I'm going to be recording um, what I'm going to do in here. I have more lights. I put the neon lights across. I'm um, gonna be posting um, uh, me building the the studio room. This is gonna be the uh, music area. So you know, I have uh, pretty much all this already in my head. I already know you know what I'm gonna do. I'm planning on doing like some graffiti pieces or doing you know some artwork on the walls I painted everything black everything is black and um, so what I'm doing is to bring it to life um, uh, doing accent colors on like everything I'm even painting the fabrics so I have some leather stuff uh, I have some fabric paint um, and then painting shit like this I did a little wild uh, baseboard to make it like look even more unique and the pain and the lights uh, but I'm thinking about switching these I found a good uh, where I got these uh, I got a bunch of those because they're pretty cheap 20 bucks for a four foot light is really decent price that's for the fixture and light bulbs everything it's LED and they take less electricity although I have a whole box of those bulbs so, uh, I'm gonna be painting this and uh, I was thinking of building uh, a deck right here or a shelf and you know I still got some things that, that I'm bouncing around how I'm going to set it up a little bit but in my head I'm kind of set on the way I'm going to do it and here I have a, a microphone pop filter that uh, that uh, it's called a chaotica eyeball and it pretty much drowns out any sound but what I did was I already have some soundproofing and it's red and black to match, you know, I have uh, my keyboard and stuff is uh, red and black. Uh, I've had a couple of them. I've had the all black edition, the white and black. And um, this is the newest one of it. This is my third one of these. Um, Got to still set up all the music equipment, but this is actually soundproofing. It's how small it get it. It get it so tight. Um, and on the thing, it actually says if, if it doesn't expand, when you just pop it open, the vacuum seal. I got blue and black. And this is 48 square feet of it. So it'll be good enough for most of the room. And I already have like 16 other pieces I already had. So I'm gonna make it, you know, I was probably gonna use the, the red and black in the room or vice versa do the blue either way the whole room is going to be soundproof um, for the music then I have even more paints I went and got my graffiti tips too so now I can do some pieces and shit and not only with that these are all the graffiti piece tips um, but I have all different cans and I got when it got the, the gothed out motherfucking Makita set, got it black. I already had it, but when it got new ones, 
And uh, cause I'm gonna be posting a lot of YouTube videos and shit like that. You don't want everything to look sharp. And uh, got the new Milwaukee set too. Got you know everything I can need. I'm, I'm like happier than the pig and shit, as they say. Uh, then I also got uh, uh, airbrush kit. So I already had an airbrush gun and a couple airbrushes. But I, I went and purchased another. It's like a hundred bucks on eBay or on uh, Amazon. Uh, you get three different machines, and um, you get the compressor and everything. Then I also got a camera um, for for recording YouTube. So this is how I'm going to be recording it from now on, instead of using my phone like I've been doing. Um, which it works but you know I like to listen to my music and you know all that so this way somebody else can be recording with certain stuff that we're doing whether it's tattoos or um, painting like this um, in the middle of painting this uh, scooter I'm gonna do a couple wild colors um, this one's actually to match my truck because it already matched my truck so I'm just kind of doing the same thing as, as that. And we're going to be doing the, the motorcycle too. Uh, Honda CBR 929. Then, uh, oh, so we got, uh, oh, also I forgot, paint cars. I got a new compressor. And I got the silent one. Spent a couple extra bucks to get the, the better one. It was like 80 more, but... I plan on only having to buy this one for a long time, hopefully. And um, got the, the hybrid hose and the uh, sprayer. So it's a gravity fed spray kit. Comes with uh, two, it's a whole kit and caboodle. Um, that was like, uh, I think, 120, something like that. And then the uh, the other paint section. So what I want to do is be able to paint whenever, you know, if I'm not working on a car, if I'm not tattooing, if I'm not uh, going, you know, I still work a full-time job and do this. Um, and I don't think a lot of people realize that. Like, I work every day, and I still do all this stuff. This is my after hours and beyond. <laughs> um but yeah, so I got the acrylics, watercolor, I got fabric paint, brushes, even more color pencils, markers, um, everything organized. I've been being really organized because I'm making this a business, you know, this is my business now. So I got to do the things that a business owner does, like grow up. <laughs> and uh, so I'm trying to do that all at once. <laughs> but yeah, I got my little... A little setup here. I know it's a little bright. But yeah, I got my little dragon holding the tattoo. Oh, got my little ram skull, my little unicorn. Oh, Ouija board. Just a little, you know. I actually got this in New Orleans. Oh, that's it. I got this from a uh, house of voodoo, Maria Laboo's uh, house of voodoo. This shit was actually like made like legit. Awesome. 